Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share a method that I use to glam up my TV stand. Um, this piece is something that I purchased from Ikea, but you can apply the same method to one that may not come from Ikea. If you remember, I've done this before and here's a picture of the TV stand that I used to have. This is a piece that I donated, but before I did that, I removed the overlay that was on top of the doors. So all you need to do if you already have one on your doors is use a butter knife to remove it. It's just that simple. These overlays can be used again. If you don't already have one, you can purchase yours at myoverlays.com. I know in the picture it looks like it's gold, but it actually is going to be white when you receive it in the mail. Okay, here's what the overlay looks like once I removed it off the doors. If you're reusing an overlay, it probably looks something like this. And you see there's still dabs of glue down. All I'm going to do is just peel it off. Now we need to make sure the surface is um, smooth again. So I'm just going to use my sanding block and lightly sand where you see those spots. Be sure to sand both sides. To get rid of all of those dust particles, I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth and wipe it away. Now it's time to spray paint. If you've just purchased your overlay, this is your first step. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and lightly spray the overlay. Only one coat is needed, but make sure you do both sides. I decided to also spray paint the feet. The next step is to glue the mirror to the door and I purchased these doors from Ikea and they were $10 each. What you want to do is take the doors out of the box and flip them over so that you don't see the holes on the back side. To glue the mirror to the door you will need this Loctite PL530 which is specific for mirror. You'll also need a caulk gun. So here's how you use it. First you see that spout? That's where you're going to cut the tip of the glue. You're just going to put it in there and then just press the trigger and it will cut the tip off. Next you want to break the seal. I'm not sure if this is on all caulk guns, but on the one that I have, there's a prong on the side of it and you just put it inside the tip and it will break the seal. Next, you want to add the glue to the chamber. Press the silver lever in the back down and press the trigger to dispense the glue onto the door. You wanna make sure you get enough glue on there to cover the entire door. Here's the mirror that I purchased from Lowe's. It is 23 and a half inches by 24 and a half inches. I realize a lot of people didn't even know that Lowe's cuts glass and mirror. If you go to Lowe's, make sure you look for a station like this. I always call before to make sure. Now I'm just going to place the mirror on top of the door. I'm going to press down a little bit on the mirror to add some pressure. I use four large clamps to hold the mirror and door together. If you don't have clamps, you can always use something heavy to place on top of the mirror. Just make sure you uh, protect the mirror by adding maybe foam board. Next, you want to clean the mirror using rubbing alcohol. The next step is to glue the overlay to the mirror using liquid nails. You can find this at a hardware store near you and make sure you get the clear version. I'm placing small dots of liquid nails throughout the overlay. And this is what it looks like. Next, place the overlay on top of the mirror. Let the liquid nails dry for 24 hours. You'll also need this Vesta hinge kit. It comes two in a pack, so you will need two packs because you have two doors. This is what you'll need to attach to door to your TV stand. 
And that's it guys. I hope this video has inspired you to enhance something in your space. Don't be afraid to try something you may feel uncomfortable doing at first. You will be amazed at what you can accomplish. Thanks guys for watching. Let's connect on Instagram. I'm at Designs by Tricia. I would love to see your DIY projects. So make sure you tag me. Also, check out my other videos. I think you'll like it.